significance would you give to this uh, China U.S. beef deal? First of all, China is a very important market for our U.S. producers in many agricultural products, but the reinstitution of U.S. beef into China is huge. I can't overestimate how important it is because of your growing middle class here, the consumption of, of good, tasty uh, uh, protein. We think our U.S. producers, our ranchers, our producers can produce a product uh, that's in demand here, and uh, we look forward to the market being opened up, and uh, we can assure our Chinese customers that they're going to have a wholesome, safe, tasty product in U.S. beef. Would that be a game changer for U.S. beef industry? A game changer in certain ways. Uh, obviously, more markets uh, mean uh, typically better prices and uh, more stability in the market where they can make plans. And uh, we hope that it will be an ever-growing market. We know that the beef imports in China have uh, really gone up ten times in, in five years. So we think it will be that much more or greater in the next five years from U.S. sources. That's a lot of lot, – you've got a lot of hungry mouths here. And uh, uh, when they taste U.S. beef, I'm convinced they're going to want more and demand more. By comparing with the huge amount of U.S.-China trading amount and a deficit, uh, people say that the U.S.-China beef deal is not trifling, neither is significant. Is that true? No, I think it's a, it's a big deal. We uh, obviously enjoy uh, China as our number one agricultural customer. We think the beef will only be enhanced by that. And uh, as our customers here become convinced that U.S. products are, uh, are again, uh, high quality and very wholesome and tasty, we think the market will be accepted and uh, it will be part of that. We don't, uh, U.S. has a wide array of agricultural products. We don't depend on just one, whether it's soybeans or corn or rice or uh, poultry or pork. Uh, we've got a variety of products that uh, we're wonderful, competitive, uh, low-cost producers, and uh, the logistics chain works well here in the China. So we, uh, we look forward to having more business. You mentioned a lot about your next move regarding the U.S.-China Agriculture Corporation. So what are the next moves? Wonderful, productive uh, discussions with uh, our Chinese uh, counterparts over rice. And uh, we would love for the rice protocol to be reinstituted here. We're hopeful that it can be done within weeks. And then the, certainly you know that U.S. poultry has been suspended a couple of years ago with a concern over avian influenza. Those issues have been resolved, and we are inviting a, a Chinese team to come to the U.S. to watch our processes and our protocol, and we're hopeful that uh, U.S. poultry can re-enter the U.S. market uh, very soon as well. Do you think the restore the Chinese market can make up the loss of the death of TPP? I think that it can go a large way. Uh, once again, the loss of the TPP, uh, we think, on bilateral relationships, we want to go uh, country by country and do uh, a, a good deal with a uh, fair trading deal between those. You know, our U.S. markets are open to Chinese products in many ways, certainly agricultural products, and we think uh, uh, we think we can certainly backfill any concern over TPP.